This is Max. Hello. He's a millennial. Also my son. Bright, worldly, can do anything he wants pretty much on a computer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I put him in front of a typewriter. A little spinny thing over here. He wondered where the paper came out of. I seriously don't know how to do that. A typewriter? What's the point? Dominic Vespia is among the few that might be able to tell him. We just make electronic typewriters. You heard him. He makes typewriters. In Munaki, New Jersey, the company is called Swintech, the last of its kind in America and likely the world. <laughs> I, I, I know the last company to go out of the typewriter business was Brother, and that happened last year sometime. He's still in it. When he started in 1959, there were 26 other companies. I was surprised there was still one. Who buys these things? Prisoners. Prisons are my biggest niche right now because I have what they, I have a clear cabinet typewriter. A typewriter you can see through. Prisoners can't use personal computers, you see, so they sell their $200 clear cabinet typewriter to them. Clear so there's no contraband possible. It is a captive audience. They aren't going anywhere. One of the biggest customers? Like the son of Sam, buys a lot of stuff. He's in regular contact with David Berkowitz, who is probably a better typist than Dominic Vespia, even after 58 years in the typewriter business. I can't type. Unfortunately, I never took the time to learn how to type. Come on. I'm oh, serious. I, I hunt and peck. Doesn't matter. At Swintech, he's got other people to fill out forms on computers. Even they don't use typewriters. The Sweet Spot. I'm Mike Sugarman, WCBS News Radio 880.